Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update on my summer project, Use It Up. So I'm really excited. I finished off some new products. I got some new things at SAS that I want to also include in the project. So I have a big update for you guys. So just stay tuned. And if you haven't already, I would love if you subscribe down below to my channel. It really helps me out. Like and comment. And I love to answer everyone's comments down below on, you know, what are you using this summer? Did you get new SAS stuff that you're including here as well? And also, are you looking forward to fall? Because I'm always looking forward to fall. But that's beside the point this is the summer project and let's go ahead and start i'm going to start with some empties first okay so the first empty that i have for you guys is the strawberry pound cake little hand cream and this was in the whipped formula i really did like this formula i love their hand creams i really only buy them if they're either on sale like during the mini sale at sas or if i have a free coupon so i really enjoyed this one i'm not gonna actually put another hand lotion in the project because You'll see why in a little bit if you don't already know, but I'm just gonna, this will be the last hand lotion in the project probably for the rest of the summer. And it was really yummy. Another mini that I finished is a Copper Coconut Sands. I picked this one up for free um, using a coupon a while back and it was so yummy. I started it off unused last month and just finished it up real quick. I did enjoy having a like coconutty scent. I think I brought this with me on vacation if I'm remembering correctly. And it was really nice to use this coconutty fresh scent um, right before going to the beach or coming back from the beach and like relaxing. It was just a really, really yummy scent. I do like coconut sands, not coconut sands. I do like coconut scents, but not that much to get them in a full size. So I would consider getting this again in a mini next year if they came out with it again, but not rushing to pick it up right now. And then I just realized this, I did actually finish up the set of Raspberry Jam Donut in the shower gel and in the body cream. So the shower gel right here, I'll show you my progress lines. Um, I did, I think it started out unused. I did this in a month, or maybe it started out here. It started out here and then I did this in a month and then I did this in last month. And it was a really yummy scent, um, honestly, I get the hype in different forms, but in the shower gel, it really wasn't that great in the shower. You could kind of almost not smell it at all. It was very, very light, but it's a yummy scent sniffing it, just like it wasn't that strong in the shower. So probably would not get the shower gel again if they came out with it again. But in the body cream, that was a totally different story. Mine, you can see it's like neon in here. It did start to go bad on me, so I had to use it up really quickly. Um, and I think this one, let's see what year it's from. It's from 2020, so that's why. I should have used it up a lot quicker. But it started out up here and then it went down to here and then I finished it up last month, actually like a few weeks ago. And it was so delicious. I wish I had used it sooner so it wasn't like going bad on me. But it was a really, really yummy scent. I hope they bring this out again. I know they didn't bring it out this year, but maybe next year or for SAS, so we'll see. And the last empty is something that I've been struggling to use up for the longest time, you guys know, and that is this Onyx Bathhouse Dim Buns Dough Foaming Body Scrub. This is in um, Cinnamon Sugar, sorry, no, this is in the Cinnamon Rolls scent, and I honestly was considering saving it for fall, but then I like kind of determined in my head that I would finish it real fast, so I did finish it off. It's literally, oh my gosh, it's so strong. It's just like a straight cinnamon scent. It kind of smells like cinnamon stick from Bath & Body Works, but this lasted me a very long time. I think I got this in the fall last year, but I didn't start using it for real until this year. So it was a really good scent. I do love their formula for the um, Onyx Bathhouse formula. I can only use it like once a week though, because it's super harsh, but I really love this. And then another, um, and then I did forget, I can't find it, but I did finish off the number nine vanilla bourbon little mini perfume from, I don't know what brand it was, but I'll put it down below. I finished it, but I can't find it in my empties bin. It's just like a little bitty tiny sample size perfume. So I finished that off, but that was the last thing to update you guys on what I emptied. So let's get into some stuff that I have progress on. Let's start off with the shower gels. The first one being Christmas cookies. I know it's not a very summertime scent, but honestly I can use these like vanilla gourmand scents any time of year. And I'm also trying to clear out my collection of like Christmas and fall stuff 
in the season that it's in. I'm not trying to hoard seasonal stuff because I buy so much seasonal stuff every year and I need to learn to finish it up in the season that it's in. You see what I'm saying? I just don't wanna have so much left over. So anyways, Christmas cookies right here. I started it off right here and then I did make a little bit of progress on it. I was not super focused, but I'm gonna leave it in the shower just because every now and then I do feel like using it. It's a super sweet gourmand scent, but it's honestly really nice to kind of just put in the shower and use it up like at night when I'm just trying to relax. It's just like a really nice, sweet and gentle scent. So that's the progress on this one. And then Beach Nights is a little harder. So I'm holding it up to the sun. The only bad thing about the lotion, not the lotion, the shower gel is that they put it in a packaging where you can't see inside of it. So I'm assuming because of the weight of it that um, it is down here now. So I went from up here to down here. So I did use it quite a bit in the last month. I've been enjoying this so much, so much so that I actually bought backups from this SAS to save for next year, but it is so yummy. It's a really great scent. Honestly, no, it's not just straight up vanilla marshmallow like everyone thought it would be. It does have like a beachy air scent, which I actually am finding myself really liking and I usually don't like that. So loving this and I have made great progress on it. And I'm actually gonna introduce a few other pieces from this scent real soon. So that's this one. Let's move into some moisturizer. So the first one I have is Margarita Cupcake. I've been absolutely adoring this scent. Um, I use this maybe every other day. I'll swap out my lotion and my body cream, but here's my progress on this one. Not too much because I was focusing on Raspberry Jam Donut last month, but from here to here, not a lot, but still good progress. And I've been absolutely adoring this. Having something like citrus fruity, but a little bit gourmand is like really yummy to me. And I'm loving this at night. And then the only body lotion I have left is Confetti Cake Pop. This one I've made significant progress on. So from here to here, here to here, and then here to here. So definitely been working through it. I love this scent. It's just like a nice, sweet vanilla scent. There's nothing special about it. It's not crazy amazing. I can imagine that in the body cream, it'd be really yummy, but I just don't think I'd get through it that fast. So yeah, the lotion is really yummy. I'm loving it. And I definitely will have it finished um, by the next update. So really excited about this one. And by the way, next update will be in August and this project will end on the last day of August and I'll start the uh, fall project in September. I'm super excited about fall already, but I assume that I won't really have that many fall items to use yet in August. So I won't start the project until September, but yeah, that's update on that. And then I do have some update on my Dove exfoliating body polish and crust almond and mango butter. I assume that I did actually mark it, but maybe it wore off in the shower, but I am pretty much like a little more than halfway through. This started out in the project unused, so I am getting good progress on it. I use this maybe, I try to use this every day, but it's more like every other day. It's such a nice, sweet, fruity scent, and I really do like it for the time of year that we're in. So yeah, that's this one. Something I have really good progress on is coconut cream pie in the mini fine fragrance mist. This is from last year, from 2020 maybe? Yeah, it's from 2020 and I'm, I love it so much, but I think my, no, not I think, I know my bottle is broken um, because when it sprays, it like leaks out the sides and rolls down the packaging. So that might be why I'm using it up a little faster than I thought I would. But when I introduced it in the project, it was unused and now we're down to here. So made a lot of good progress on this one. It is so yummy. I'm actually gonna spray it right now. Very excited to finish this one up soon. I'll be sad to see it go, but that's okay because it'll make room for new scents in the future. And then the only other mist that I had in the project was Bonfire Bash. I have this one down at my desk and I try to spray it on me like throughout the day while I'm working, but I honestly didn't get that much progress on it. It's only from here to here. I'm kind of finding myself getting sick of these like super sweet gooey scents. I don't want to take it out of the project. I'm still going to keep it in and leave it at my desk, but I think I'm going to give myself other options as well. You'll see I'm going to introduce a few new fine fragrance mists. But yeah, I'm kind of finding myself a little sick of the sweet gourmands. So we're going to have to change it up a little bit. But I still want to finish those two up. The next thing that I have to update you on is perfumes. So I have the Tangerine Squeeze little number six from the Mix Bar. That's right. Um, and I did make some progress on it 
I was really focusing on vanilla bourbon, so this one was not getting used as much, but it's actually super hard to use now that it's lower down. Like it's hard to get the perfume to come out. So I'm gonna try and finish this up, but no promises because I might just have to end up throwing it away if it doesn't work. And then I do have my Mary Kay Winter Wishes perfume. Not getting any progress on this actually. I had no progress since the last month. This is not a new mark. That's last month's mark. So not making a lot of progress on this one, but I'm gonna keep it in just because it is like a nice fresh and fruity scent. So hopefully I'll start using it again this month, maybe. Okay, and next I have my body lotions that I'm using as hand lotion right now to update you on. So first is the Peppermint Essential Oil Aromatherapy Lotion. And this one I had, um, first I had it at my sink and then I moved it downstairs on my desk for work. So I've actually gotten a lot of good progress on it since then. So since moving it, um, we started up here and I did from here to here. And then I did from here to here. So getting a little bit more use out of it by it being on my desk at work. And I'm just keep gonna keep using it like that. Um, it actually really relaxes me, this peppermint scent when using it at work. So I'm loving it being down there on my desk. So I'm gonna keep it there and just keep trying to finish it and get through it. Cause otherwise I would not ever use it. So, and then same thing for my white pumpkin and chai. This is from 2020 and I already have a lotion from 2021. So I'm trying to get through this one. But yeah, I made this much progress on it since the last update. Not a lot, um, but I'm just trying to casually use it up as hand cream. And this one's by my um, sink upstairs in our bathroom right now. So not getting too much use, but still getting some use out of it. So some use is better than no use. So I'm going to keep going through it. All right, time to introduce some new scents. So the first thing is a new body scrub from Onyx Bathhouse and Hot Mess Express. So this one says it has pomegranate, musk, and honey. It smells so good. I didn't know it had musk in it when I initially smelled it, like at the store, but I definitely get it. It has honey. It honestly smells like the, what was that collection? The Pure Honey collection from Bath & Body Works from like a long time ago, like 2016, 2017. It kind of reminds me of that. So it smells so good and I'm really excited to use it. Um, so yeah, putting this one in the shower, it's unused. Look how beautiful the top looks unused. I kind of don't want to break into it, but it smells so delicious that I'm really excited to break into it. So that's the first thing I'm introducing. Next thing that I'm actually bringing back from the spring project is champagne toast. I actually accidentally ended up using it as a room spray downstairs in our living room. And I got this much progress on it in a month. So I think I'm going to leave it down there and have it as a room spray or a body spray if I want to. And I've just been loving having something fruity instead of just gourmand, especially downstairs when I'm working because gourmand kind of makes me sleepy. It's super cozy, but it doesn't necessarily make me focus. So something like this, I think will be a little better. And I was already using it and not tracking it so why not use it and track it and the next thing that i'm going to introduce is beach nights in both the lotion and the fine fragrance mist so that way i will have a full set going right now i just picked up these two at sas so i can finally use them um and i'm really excited to start using this scent like as a full set i just think it's so nice and i want to get as much use out of it as i can during the summertime but I'm also very comfortable bringing it over to next summer. Like I don't really care if I actually finish these two up, but I think I will definitely be able to finish up the shower gel. So just excited to have these ones going as well and I can have my full set and just enjoy this scent to the fullest in like the last month, well, the last couple of months of summer. So really enjoying that. Another thing that I found myself gravitating towards, but not really tracking that I was using it is this Sunshine Mimosa moisturizing body wash. I picked this up at SAS a couple weeks ago and I just was curious to keep using it and smell it and sniff it and all that kind of stuff. So I've been loving it in the shower. Again, it's a fresh and fruity scent. It's actually really yummy with margarita cupcake. So I think I will be doing like a shower routine with this one soon, but I just ended up using it up and I've used already this much of it. So it's right here. I don't plan on finishing up in the summer. If I do, that's great. But I do want to track it a little bit and just see how much progress I can get on it. And I love having the option of a moisturizing body wash in my shower in case I want to do that. So yeah, just a really nice scent and fresh and fruity for the summertime. Okay, last things that I'm going to introduce are two little perfumes. The first one is the number 21 Cloud Musk, also from the Mix Bar. I have not used this one yet, 
So I'm gonna try and finish this one up. You know, once I'm done with Tangerine Squeeze, I'll move on to this one and just test it out and see how I like it. And then I figured I'd put this Ariana Grande one in just because this is really old. I think I got this in high school from my parents as a Christmas gift. It came in like a little set of all these minis. And I absolutely adore this perfume. It is so yummy. I think this is sweet like candy. Um, so I'm just gonna try and use it. I don't have any plans to finish it up anytime soon. Just putting in something that I know that I will enjoy really helps motivate me. So I'm putting this one in to the project. Okay, if you saw the way that my dresser looks with all these products out here, you'd think I was crazy. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below what you're using currently for the summertime. And yeah, that's it for today's video and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.